All right, hello and welcome to this very first playthrough of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We are on a mission to beat a hundred video games every year, and this is game number 55. And we're going to start this way, the video the way we start every initial of a uh, video of a game I play. And I'm going to very briefly tell you what I know about this game. So I've got my How Long to Beat page pulled up here. And I can see that Shadow of the Tomb Raider came out in... Well, I don't actually have it pulled up. Whoops. But it, I know that it came out in 2018. And according to How Long to Beat, it is... Uh, 12 and a half hours long if we hurry. That's main story only. Completionist run is quite a bit longer uh, at 38 hours. That's about as long as the other two within an hour or so. And I have played the first two games of the reboot trilogy. I have not played any other Tomb Raider games, but I have played Tomb Raider 2013 and Rise of the Tomb Raider. So this will be closing out the trilogy. This was all I was originally planning on playing. I have since decided that once I beat this, I'm going to go back and start the old Tomb Raider games at some point. Um, but I haven't played any of the old ones. Uh, and I am vaguely familiar with the story at this point, although I played the 30, 2013 game in, two, in 2020, and I played Rise of the Tomb Raider over a year ago, so I'm hazy. I know that... The basic gist of what Tomb Raider is, though, in this new universe. Uh, and I really like these games. The um, I checked the rankings before the video started, and they're both around 100. The like One's like 96 and one's 103 or something, which is really good. So I, I really do like these games. I definitely get some Uncharted vibes from them, but it's definitely, it's also its own flavor. It's a lot more visceral hardcore than Uncharted is really. Um, and of course there's a lot more like side content and collectibles and stuff like that in these games, which I don't get too much into, but, but I don't know anything about this game. I've never played it. I've never watched anyone play it. I've never seen a trailer. I've never read a review. I have no idea if it's easier or harder, better or worse. I have no idea who if any of the same characters are involved, I don't really remember. I think I remember her like sidekick, that one like heavy set dude, and that's about it. Uh, but I don't remember. I don't know anything about this game. I don't know why there's an eclipse happening in the background. If that's important, it probably is. Uh, <clears throat> let's get into it. I'm excited. I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, and uh, we're going to be playing on the Xbox Series S. We're going to keep track of the deaths right here below me. We're going to try really hard not to get that first one. You never know. One of these days, we're going to get that no-death run. Uh, after that, we'll relax a little bit. Uh, I did not keep track of the 2013 death count because I wasn't doing that back then, but I did keep track of Rise of the Tomb Raider, and I died 49 times in that one, so it'll be interesting to see if, if that's around where we end up here or not. Um, all right, let's go. Let's get started. I'm, I'm excited. Uh... <clears throat> Like, yes, I agree. I agree. Whatever that is, I agree. I don't care about the servers. Thank you. Yeah, that's all fine as long as it doesn't look weird on the recording. Yeah, that's fine. Continue. Thanks for purchasing Definitive Edition. It's just what's on Game Pass. So you're welcome. Croft Fitness. Oh, I get a, an outfit. Great. Um, I do want to look at two things. One is subtitle options, and the other is if there's any kind of performance mode. There should be... There was a performance mode in Rise of the Tomb Raider, so I would assume... Maybe not. Subtitles? I'm not seeing anything. Subtitles on, thank you. I'm a little surprised. Because there is definitely a graphics option in Rise of the Tomb Raider. Of course, I played that on PlayStation, so I don't know if that's any different or whatever. It's fine. New game. It looks like it's in 60 FPS. 
So. Overall difficulty, rite of passage. Combat difficulty, ammunition boxes are rare. Enemies have normal health and damage. damage. Yeah, we're going to do everything on normal. Discrete white paint on critical path. Normal save, gra saving grab timer. Base caps camps are unlit. Lore gives general hints on the next action to perform. Interactable objects are highlighted on in survival instincts. Normal window of opportunity for timed mechanics. That'll work. I don't know why this jaguar is looking at me, but... Are you in charge of those options, Mr. Jaguar? This looks optimized for... Next gen. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is created by a diverse, talented team, comprised of multiple genders, backgrounds, ethnicities, religious beliefs, and personalities. Although the game is not based on real life events, it was developed in conjunction with a historian and cultural consultants. Okay, so they're trying to say that it's culturally sensitive. <clears throat> Good job. Well done. I know some people find it annoying, but I, I like it when games take a moment to uh, acknowledge things like that. Because that does take a lot of extra work if they're going to do it right, you know? You gotta get all these consultants involved. That costs money. I appreciate them letting me know about it. <clears throat> what is this all about? Oh no. Okay, that's a little bit loud. Jesus. That guy. I guess he's not that heavy set. Maybe he's just big. No parachutes when I mean, you're dead. <clears throat> Jonah. That's his name. Yeah, he's not. I was for some reason I was thinking like a kind of a Whoa. Whoa, you're dead. Don't don't do that. I thought you were gonna jump. That was a better idea. You might hit the trees. If you if you end up in the wreckage, you're gonna get mangled by the metal. Right? If I'm in that situation, I jump. I jump into the trees at the last second. It's probably a lot harder than it looks. Jonah, are you there? Two days earlier. Oh, they did this in Rise of the Tomb Raider too, where there was some intense scene and then they cut back to earlier. I guess that's a thing. I don't remember as enough about the original reboot game to know. I, all I remembered from the original, when I started playing Rise, I was like, what did they do to her face? She's a completely different face model. This one looks like the same one as Rise. That'd be crazy if they moved, changed it again. So this is two days earlier. Well, how are you going to get out? You can cut your leg off? Yeah. Did you... Uh, it looked like you cut your leg. Maybe not. That, that is one of the things I really, really, we've already mentioned it, I know, but one of the things I really, really like about this trilogy, or the, the, the reboots, is that they are, they seem just really hardcore. Like, when she's, when she's, when she dies, it shows it all. 
and she dies in some horrible ways. Getting impaled on things, getting caught on fire. It's it's extremely visceral. And just, they just seeing her just having to trying to pull her leg out of that is like And this whole claustrophobic situation is not helping things. I immediately love this. I, oh, these games I think these games are so good. I'm really surprised they haven't made another one. I know that they're the IP is changing hands. Like I don't think Crystal Dynamics owns it anymore, but like it's a golden IP. This game is really loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. gonna write down so that I remember that I need to check the audio balance once this first recording is over. If it's rough, I apologize. Trinity badge, an emblem representing Trinity. Trinity. Uh, jump or mantle on the... Okay. I didn't see what that... I didn't really get all of the information on that. Trinity badge, but... An em a Trinity badge, an emblem representing Trinity. Trinity is an ancient and secretive organization ruled by an Illuminati-like High Council that has existed since the time before Christ. They are determined to find and exploit all of the ancient artifacts of the world. I've been hunting them since I found out they killed my father. Jonah and I have tracked down so many Trinity cells since then. Yeah, 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 yeah. The tombs we found were destroyed, except for Cosumel. <coughs> I need to find out what they're after, what their end game is, and stop them. <clears throat> that's a nice, that's good backstory, because I, I do remember that Trinity stuff now. Excuse me, still, still, just barely getting over a uh, cold, so I apologize for that, but... I mean, it's like 98% gone, it's just that little bit still lingering. Jonah, I'm out. Be careful, the way into the site is full of traps. Trinity's not done with it yet. They're protecting something. Six weeks, and still no solid leads on who's leading the local Trinity cell. But I talked to some people in town, and they're excited. There's a VIP coming to the Day of the Dead. Name's Dominguez. We should look into it. It's definitely in 60 FPS, so that's good. Press A to jump on overhanging surfaces. That's a nope, man. What if you don't get in enough? Like, you're dead if you miss that jump. What? Up. He was a little finicky. I mean, that is some ninja warrior shit right there. <clears throat> Jonah, I made it. I'm on my way in. Almost there. I'm sorry I didn't wait. Be careful. Jonah's not going to be able to do all that stuff you just did. I also remember that the performance mode in Rise of the Tomb Raider was rough. Which is excusable to a degree because it's an older game, but I don't think the original had a performance mode. But the performance mode was rough because the graphic, the graphical downgrade was immense. This one looks decent, um, even though it's rocking that higher frame rate. <coughs> This place. Guess all that research paid off. Now we know what Trinity is after. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking he was like a fat dude. Glad we followed your father's notes. Like my shape. I 
He's just thick. You want me to take a look at that wound? No, I'm fine. He's like, what is all this? It's gonna get infected later, Laura. This inscription at some sort of riddle. Pink fish. Pink fish. Silver crowned mountain. There's a date here. But something's off. It looks like it was damaged, perhaps intentionally. Why would Trinity sabotage this? They usually just destroy everything. No, I think the damage is older. So who would have tampered with it? Uh oh. That's a bomb. Oh, I thought it I thought it was gonna blow up. Like it was C4 or something. Alright, run. Is it time to run? Oh, I don't think I was in control of any of that. If you hadn't dragged me out, I'd still be in there taking pictures. We'd still be in there. Don't know if you'd be doing much. Tona. Hey, you want to freshen up? Regroup at the cafe. Dr. Dominguez is supposed to be there tonight. Sounds good. I'll try and decipher the riddle, see if the date has anything to do with it. Right. Pink fish, Silver Crown Mountains, I'll look into it. By the way, this cafe is supposed to have really good food. I know the chef. Uh, I'm not very hungry. <laughs> After all of that, I'm sorry. Game looks pretty good for 2018. I mean, 2018 isn't that long ago. It's the same year God of War came out. So, but the 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 fa the the character models aren't like incredible but, or anything. But the the movement, the facial animations, all that stuff is is pretty top tier. There he is. I don't know about top tier, but it's good. Anything new on Doctor Dominguez? Not much. He's leading a few Trinity digs in the area. My father mentioned him in his journal more than once. He's an expert on pre-colonial ruins. Everyone says he's a great guy. Big help to the town. So how's your leg? Turn a look. The riddle. It's directions to find she the trying to change the subject about the leg? Along the shore until you find the pink fish. I, I found something for that. It's pink dolphins found only in the Amazon. It goes on, um, then chase the heart of the serpent to the silver crowned mountain. Look at this. Cool poncho. It's the constant. Was this Star Wars Jedi Star. Fallen Order? This star is the heart. It's set in the southwest. So southwest from the Amazon River. Brazil. Peru. Peru? Okay, um, this date from the ruins, see? If you look closely, it is damaged. This number looks like a Maya 13, but what if it's really an 8? With procession, it... What? Uh, procession. The Earth tilts, so over time, these stars appear in a different place on the horizon. Important if you're navigating by the night sky. Okay. In the Maya calendar, that's a 2,000-year difference. Back then, the heart of the serpent set directly to the west. So, that's why it's in Peru, not Brazil. Trinity has been looking in the wrong place. Exactly. We need to look for the Silver Crown Mountain in Peru. There's more. Um, something about uh, a key. What is Trinity looking for in the hidden city? Doctor, we found it. Yes. Show me. So I guess that's Trinity then? You heard that too, right? Let's see where he goes. <coughs> Hold on. Trinity's watching this place. Let's try to blend in. Trinity's people are armed. I heard they brought in reinforcements. I'll stay out of their way. I want to Decipher the path of the stars. They must know we were at the other site. So much for a night off. Where did Dominguez go? Can't be far. It must be in the courtyard somewhere. Yeah. Let's look around. Someone must know something. Find Dominguez. This 
is Cozumel. And this is where we're going, probably. Peru. <clears throat> Can you believe it? This one was caught drinking the ofrendas. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure I was just as mischievous as a child. The hell was that? No need to punish him. But tequila will take care of that on its own. He drank enough. Any sign of him? No. Let's keep looking. Uh, I don't need to talk to the rest of these people, I don't think. You'd rather storm guards or the deathless. No, this is fine. Jonah, he's at the gate. Good. Be sure I'm not following. I think I can find another way over the wall. I'll take care of these guys. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Good. You can't come through this way. I heard there was some kind of a crazy fiesta. Like chicks, skull makeup. Y'all know anything about that? It's not for tourists. Ah, uh, no, you know Maria invited me. You know her? She's my cousin. My abuela, she was from here, don't look like it. Rest her soul. Um, I, I wanted to make like an offering. What's that thing you do with the blankets? All right. You know what? I can see you guys are busy. I won't waste any more of your time. Y'all keep on trucking. Thanks for your service. Keep it up safe. Good job, sidekick. Jonah, I'm in. Good. Those guards were. So like a crouch button or Dominguez must suspect something. Jonah is a survivor and a good friend. I met him several years ago on my first expedition on board the Endurance. He made me laugh the first time I spoke to him, calling me Little Bird. We've been through so much since then, and after I lost touch with my best friend Sam, Jonah was always there for me. He came with me to Katash and helped me find the Divine Source, the artifact my father was looking for when he was killed. After I destroyed the Divine Source to keep it from Trinity's hands, Jonah helped me hunt them down, cell by cell. When I finished deciphering my father's notes, Jonah thought that Cozumel was the best place to start. At first, I didn't believe him, but he was right. The site in Cozumel was the only one we found that wasn't destroyed. Now I know why. Trinity knows there's a piece of the puzzle missing, and I need to find out what it is before they do. That's good backstory. That's good. That fills in some gaps between Excuse me. Rise and this one. We've come too far to stop. Pardon? Yes, sir. They're ready for anything. It's not. Is it possible to get too close? Jonah, Dominguez is not just the leader of the cell. I think he's the leader of Trinity. We need to be careful. Laura. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sir. My fault. Someone set off a trap at the first sight. I think it was Croft. Wait, what's wrong? I want confirmation. No more guessing. I'll make sure we get visual confirmation. Jonah, they might have noticed me. I'll try the back alley. I'll find another way around. Yeah, they did seem like they looked over. You can never be too safe. You're very gracious. Thank you. We should go. Yeah, this is Commander. 
Dominguez wants confirmation Croft is here. You have the photo. Female, Caucasian, <clears throat> early 20s. You got that? She's still in her early 20s? Was she 18? During the events of the first game? I mean, there must have been at least three or four years between the first game and this one. Maybe not. I don't want to, why would I want to talk to that guy? Don't worry. Go. Hey. The readings at the site are unlike anything we've ever seen. It's the key to our next phase. If this is it, we'll be ready. Jonah, they've entered the dig site. It's fenced off and there's a guard at the gate. I'll find another way in. I found a good spot. I'll watch the perimeter. Oh, I got 50 XP for that? Awesome. Is there something I can look at yet? Like the... No, not yet. <clears throat> Oh good, I can run now. Objectives are highlighted in survival instincts. Press right stick to activate survival instincts. Okay. A to jump, A again to wall scramble. Beating some dude up. Stealth kill time. Come on. Just do it. Yeah. Nice. Mr. Lead Archaeologist. Your employment has been terminated. Please. No. I have money. What did they find? Well, they've been searching for a temple entrance for many years. Today they found it. I have to go warn my sister. She's on her way here now. You're welcome. Jonah, Trinity just tried to kill a local archaeologist. Oh, God. I have to find what they're looking for. Oh. Look at all this stuff. This is Commander Rourke. All team. Blackout. Resource containers. Search inside various containers for common resources. Is that a feather and something? I better take a look at those ruins. Feather, a gear thingy. What's all that? Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm sure I can see more about the inventory later. <clears throat> Seeds found in the red-colored fruits of shrubs used for healing. Accute. I better check those ruins. Yeah, I know, I know. Salvage to craft destructive handheld objects and upgrade weapons at base camp. I 
better take a look at those ruins. Yeah, I know. Is there a way to slow that frequency down? No. That'll just be a mild annoyance. I think it's because I'm using the survival instincts thing a lot. But it's fine. I don't want it to get rid of the highlighting when I use survival instincts. I mean. Beyond her gaze, key. This is it. The entrance must be down there. Got to make my way down. <clears throat> All right. Well, how do we do that? Oh, uh, okay. Left or right trigger to repel down from climbable walls. Okay. Careful. Whoa, 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 careful. Careful, Jesus. Careful. I've got this. The statue is looking at that cave. Can I just repel from here? a cave. We may lose contact. Copy that. I'll keep an eye on Trinity out here. Frontage cat mushrooms with thick stem. Used for endurance mixtures. Bolet. It's usually underwater. Oh, is it low tide or something? Or because of the new moon or something like that? I don't really know how tides work. 
Tides go come in and go out like multiple times a day, right? So it's not because of the new moon or the full moon. <clears throat> but mm. examine murals to increase understanding of ancient dialects. Right, I remember this mechanic. Heart of the Serpent, M.A.M., a depiction of a Maya journey. Oh, is that the way I came from? Yes. Or no? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Five death whistle carvings. How many arrows do I have? Gross. How long can I hold my breath? I didn't see any kind of indicator or anything. She must be able to just hold her breath for a long time. Maybe eventually something shows up that indicates that I can't hold my breath forever? Gross! Is that a moray eel? That's a big old nope. Okay, well, that at least implies that she can't hold her breath forever. Oh! Why is that thing even fucking with me? I'm too big for you to eat. What do eels eat? I don't know. Gross. Oh no, that's not good. I'm gonna need to keep moving. God, that makes me so nervous. 
Like, if I'm in this situation, well, first of all, I'm too fat to be in this situation and survive it. But. But even if I wasn't. I'd just give up. <laughs> I don't think I. I don't think I got. I don't think I have the stones to even. Uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't put myself in this situation ever. But if I was found myself in it or was forced into it, I just. Well, I'm guess I'm drowning today. Upgrade skills at base camp camps. Okay. Oh, I got a skin. Progress past this point requires the reinforced knife. Progress past this point requires the reinforced knife. Okay, well, I'm not coming back here probably, so. Whoa. Okay. Is there a crouch button? Oh, I need wood to... That's scramble. Oh, that's melee. Okay. I guess there's not a crouch button. She kind of has that stiff way of walking that the original Laura Croft does when she's turning. Their arms out. Just a little bit. I feel like that's intentional. Use hardwood to craft silent arrows on the run and upgrade weapons at base camp. Okay. Laura, how's it going? Good. There are platforms that can help me reach the top. Looking for something to weigh them down. You're breaking up. We've got some activity here. I'm gonna get closer. Be careful, Jonah. This one? Well, let's see what this does. Oh, is that? Is that? Objects are highlighted in survival instincts. Press right to check. Yeah, 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 I know. Sell gold ore to merchants. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to make that. Oh, gosh. Okay, jump. I'm already 
enthralled with what's going on with this game. I don't know why I waited so long to play the second and the third one. I guess because there's just there was just no there was no rush. There's no I mean there's whispers of a new Tomb Raider game at some point, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon. I'm usually a lot when I'm going back and playing games that aren't like a lot of the games I play have are because I'm Nick, can you speak today? A lot of the games that I play are because I'm trying to finish a franchise before another game comes out. There hasn't really been a rush reason to rush this one. Next to a post, loose a rope arrow at a distant coil to create. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Where? Ah. I think in the original Tomb Raider a reboot, or maybe even in Rise, you couldn't do that at first. Like, you had to unlock that. You could only go down. Oh, no, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. There was an item that you could purchase that would allow you to do it more quickly. Uh, that looks like a booby trap. Right? I mean, it's gotta be. What are you yelling about, Laura? You need to be quiet here. Need to find a way to destroy that debris. Oh. Need to find a way to destroy that debris. Here we go. Need to find a way to destroy that debris. Yes, yes, yes. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Yep. No, oh, damn it. Well, that's a death. <laughs> Whoops. 
I, I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do there. Um, <clears throat> I'm supposed to like hang off this edge or... Oh, there's a ledge right here. <clears throat> well, that's death number one. There's a mural here. It shows a box. Inscription says, the silver box of Isho. That must be what's in the hidden city. This is a Maya myth. It says the box will summon the god Kukul Khan. The creation god. Is that what Trinity's after? More, <coughs> more. Looks like a series of cataclysms. <coughs> a tsunami. A storm, an earthquake, volcanic eruption, and an eclipse. Well, in my belief, Google I'm just thinking about the box art. Destruction. Hmm. This looks like the Hydra constellation, but the stars seem out of alignment. <clears throat> <clears throat> Weapon upgrade. The key to Isha's heart. I bet it doesn't let me use it. It's probably shitty. Anyway. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. We'll take it then. It might be like a right just a lost ark situation. Yeah. Yeah. Saw that coming. Come on, Laura. This ain't your first tomb. <clears throat> what have I done? Okay, but run. Jonah, get to higher ground. Oh no, you took it, didn't you? Hurry. They're on their way. I'm not stopping stopping for that stuff. This man's got to die, right? Okay. Let's make sure everything's copacetic here. How's going with that pump? Oh, he had ammo. Oh, uh, good, good. The pump's all done. In in Laura's best man voice. Blackout. Make sure the perimeter secure. Sounds like a drinking game. I don't know, but I hear the readings are off the charts. Let's just make sure the perimeter is secure when Commander Rourke. Stay close to vegetation covered walls to remain concealed. Spectres are coming, be ready. Okay, but you're not that concealed, Laura. Really think that's gonna work? Ah, 
Don't worry, I'll fix it. This is taking way too long. Dominguez has to wait for us when he gets here. It's not going to be pretty. Copy that. What's happening at the gate? We are the elements. Already? Yep. What now? Taking a look. That uh, could have gone smoother, but that's okay. How many arrows do I have? I still have 20. Alright, good. <clears throat> How do I know if I need to heal injuries when I don't have a health bar? Where's, uh, did I loot all those bodies? No. I guess there's not any way to get up there. Not yet, anyway. <clears throat> oh my god, it's been an hour already? Screwed, right? She's killing our people. Fuck. Copy that. Target sighted. Echelon team. Always hated helicopters. Hold it. Target rear flyer. Oh, I have a gun? Oh, you guys are fucked. I didn't realize I had a gun. She was gonna fucking do that.
Oh, it's just the two of us? I hope that's all of them. Looks like it is for now. Let's loot these bitches and get out of here. What's that? Oh, it's just a throwable. Okay. Full. Okay. Everybody, Where'd you get a pistol? Well, that was dumb, Laura. Don't hurt her. Lara Croft. I mean, you're dead, right? Yeah, we just did a lot of work for you. <clears throat> you just had it, you just... You just dropped it immediately as soon as you got hit. <laughs> I was about to say, she's bluffing, right? If you were... If you weren't an idiot, you'd have shot her already. It never occurred to me that you would just take it. With this key and the silver box, we can remake the world. Without witness, cruelty. And certainly with none of this. But without the box... The apocalypse. The death of the sun. There's the first reference to what's on the box art. Lara. You felt it when you took the key. Tremors are common. A tsunami is coming. And this is the first of many catastrophes you're doing. You would have done the same. Did you? Did you know that that was... Because you probably shouldn't have taken it, Laura. <clears throat> you we're not gonna... You're not gonna shoot me? Holy... What? 
fucking shh. Did we do that? Okay, I have some control here. Like when you're in something, a situation like this, you can just move yourself to the left and the right as you, as you like. What am I trying to do here? Get up, what are you doing? Would stay there for a little bit longer than that. Get your thing out. You should have done that immediately. What are you doing? <clears throat> Move bodies. Yeah, good luck. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, right. That is some Cirque du Soleil shit right there. No way. Not a chance. Survive the flood, okay. Did we? Spoiler. We're not out of the woods yet. Keep going. Oh no, these this, these people. I'm sorry, but these people aren't our responsibility. There are a thousand. Oh, they're dead. No, <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Uh, uh, when a kid dies, you know, all bets are off. Oh, shoot. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Uh, oh, no. Why, that same one, huh? <sighs> you have wonderful aim, Laura. Alright, that's three deaths. I took that way too early that last time. It was dumb. Oh, we get to watch that kid die again. That'll be nice.
What am I doing here? Oh, okay. I guess you can't stay in one place for too long. Uh... Alright, so we're pretty clear on what to do here. It's definitely the, the right way to go this way, otherwise that set piece with the kid wouldn't be there. So we're definitely going the right way up to that point. Oh! We can go up, I just saw it. Donde esta? <laughs> yeah, you did that, Laura, by the way. Did you not realize all that was going to happen? I guess she didn't, or she wouldn't have done it, right? Well, she's just evil. But she acted like she knew it was going to happen. Jonah just happens to be right there. Well, I was lucky. I was so worried. I failed. Wes. What do you mean? Dominguez. He has the dagger. That's why you failed? It's not that you destroyed the whole town? I gave Trinity exactly what they wanted. He'll use the box and the knife to remake the world. To remake it into what? I don't know. He thinks he can rid it of sin and weakness. A man like that, we... We have to stop him. It's all my fault. We'll figure it out, okay? I, I promise. No, 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 no! We have to find this city before Trinity. We have to find the silver box. Okay, but first, we're going to help these people get to safety, and then we'll go after the box. No, no one is safe! Not if he gets the box first! I have to go! I'm the only one! You're the only one that can what? You don't know that you caused all this, Laura! Not everything is about... She didn't say that. These people need us here. We can do good now! Besides, what do we gotta go on? A riddle? We're gonna need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. This feels forced. The writing feels like they... We're gonna help these people. Like they skipped a step or something. Like, he's acting like she said that this, all of this was her fault, and she never really said that. And why is Laura acting like she doesn't really even care about all of this if she actually believes that she caused it? It seemed weird. It's, it's, it wasn't... It's just like the editing was bad. Like, they cut out the wrong parts or something. That, that felt disconnected. And then suddenly he got... He was getting angry. It just... You know. It was like we missed some lines. I think we're looking for a volcanic mountain. The crown of silver is probably a band of clouds. I just can't get those people back there out of my head. They lost everything. I mean... The riddle says... Chase the heart of the serpent to the Silver Crown Mountain, where the twins confer. I wonder what the twins are. This storm looks like bad news. It's just a little rain. We'll concentrate on the Cloudy Mountain. Cloudy Mountain. If we find it, how do we know we have the right one? Gut feeling? It's our only clue. The mural says there'll be more disasters. The best way we can help them is to put a stop. Does he know that she did? That, that she's the one that caused that tsunami? 
Or there are, I mean... Jonah, what I felt when I took the dagger. You mean the tremors or the tsunami? More than that. It felt like I woke something up. So he does know. I know that it's not practical. I know that it's hard to believe. Well, at this point in the series, you guys, we know that there's supernatural shit going on. Because it's happened several times. This is like Indiana Jones we have to trust style. Like there's some there's some supernatural stuff that happens from time to time, so don't act surprised. Or don't you don't have to say like Meh. Hey. I might have something over here. Really? I'm sure he believes you is what I'm saying. You don't have to be like, I know it's hard to believe. That's it. How do you know that's it? I don't like this storm. Should we come back in the morning? We're so close. I guess a little turbulence wouldn't stop Trinity either. Miguel, is there anywhere to land? Yeah, I, I think after this cutscene, we'll um, we'll stop. We're in a totally different place. So that this is clearly a different scene. Oh, this is this is the the intro. I see. I see. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. So we know what happened at that point. How many plane crashes has she survived at this point? I mean, what are the odds? A, that they were, she would just be in that many plane crashes. And B, that she would survive all of them. I mean, there's at least two, which, on its own, the, uh, the odds are astronomical. Because there's one in the original reboot game, I remember. The beginning of the game, it's like a big deal. A lot of mud. That is a lot. Are you just putting it all? You touching your face with it? All right, we're gonna stop here, and um, we'll pick this up on the next one. But so far, so good. I know I'm bitching a little bit, but but so far, I mean, I'm loving this game, and I, I figured I would. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you.